One of the things I love best about living in the Cape Valley is my great neighbors, all of them small farmers with a vision and a passion for their farms. Today I want to introduce you to my dear friends Tom and Pam, owners of Cape Valley Vineyards. Tom and Pam have lived in the Cape Valley a long time. Pam was a flight attendant and Tom a race car mechanic and eventually a race car restorer. In 1998, they established the Cape Valley Vineyards, and despite being the first present-day vineyard in the valley, they were actually reviving a tradition of wine growing in the region that goes back to the 1800s. Tom and Pam offered me the chance to participate in this year's harvest of their Viognier grapes, and I really jumped at the chance because I was really excited to see how my favorite wine got its start. I got to the vineyard around 8.30 and got to see as everything was being set up. Just right. tell me, why are, why are you picking at night? To keep the grapes cool and keep the workers cool. Uh -huh. Just before dusk, the tractors pulling the grape bins got into position. Those trailers were specially designed by Tom to place light where it's needed during a night harvest. Then the workers started arriving, and Tom explained how the tractor trailer would be loaded with all of the grape bins once they finished trailer, picking. You have to be a little careful on how you load the trailer, otherwise the whole thing will lift up, so you've got to load it from back to front. And they're too high, I'm going to put 24 bins or 12 tons of grapes on the truck. Picking 12 tons in one night. Right. Tom picking bins that will pick grapes into, they'll pick into, uh, boxes here I can pull one out in a minute and then dump into the bin and these uh, professional pickers are really good they pick between 350 and 400 pounds an hour my job is to pull the leaf out that they have collected we don't want to slow anybody down to sort the leaf so that's my job is to ride on the trailer and uh, pull out all the extra leaf because we don't want that in the can you, do you sit on this, or where, where do you stand? I'll either, I'll either stand here. Usually they'll dump from the back, though, and this is for them to step up on it and dump in. So I'll try to stay out of the way. Or I'll go over here. Good. You can tell. I'm out of shape. There we go. Uh, and stand up like this. So I'm kind of leaning in. When the picking started, it was really amazing to watch. These men and women who, who picked the grapes were really skilled at it and very fast. Pam said that she and Tom could pick about 200 pounds of grapes an hour, whereas these pickers could pick about 400 pounds of grapes an hour. So they really had a knack for it and knew what they were doing. It was also really neat to watch everybody work together. Uh, Pam was taking the, the leaves out of the bin and, and really organizing the, the bins of grapes as they came in and making sure that you know there weren't any sticks and leaves and, and things in there. And Tom was making sure that all of the equipment you know was in the right place at the right time, that things were getting loaded onto the trailer. They were really working you know their farm. And that's one of the things I really love about the Cape Valley, that the farmers themselves are, are out there working it and really participating in, in making it all happen happen. It really is a labor of love. Where do these grapes get taken? Uh, we're working with the Winterhawk Winery over in Fairfield. So they're, go they're going to crush them for us and uh, make the first two bags. I've already sent the yeast and everything over and I've been uh, talking to their winemakers. And our winemakers talking to their winemakers, so we have to have everything worked out. be taken right over there. Yeah, they're going to go straight. The truck's supposed to come at 6.30. They're hooked up. 